Hey guys, I just wanted to come to you about the President of the United States. Um, I really hate this whole Muslim ban that he has. I've heard so many uh, explanations of what it was supposed to be just, you know, to check out the people from these seven countries that just so happen to be Muslim, so it's not a Muslim ban. But it's just so upsetting because you're ripping apart families, though. Why didn't anybody think through what he was about to do? And at this point, I'm starting to think that maybe the Republicans or the people that are around him are just letting him do what he wants to do. So he could just go ahead and stab himself in the back, stab himself or kill himself off and, you know the Republicans can try again with Mike Pence or something like that. I just don't comprehend the actions. And it's, it's one thing for Trump not to know what he's doing or what he's signing or exactly what he's about to do and the ramifications of what he's doing. But it's another thing for everybody else around him to let him do that, knowing what he's about to do or the, or, or the gravity or the, the weight of the things that he's about to do as far as the executive orders that he signed. <sighs> Man, I am nervous for the country, but I know that we'll be fine because we're in God's hands. Our every day is going to forever be changed because of the things that the president has done and it's only week two anywho um one thing i would like to say i would never be able to say that i stand behind the president because i don't stand for anything that he stands for of course we can we will i will pray for him and and just pray that him and the cabinet will do what's right by people. You know, even though I love Jesus, I can respect anybody, any person, period, whether uh, they're, you know, black, white, whatever race, whatever sexuality, whatever religion, you know, at the end of the day, they're still a person, atheists or not, they're still people. And we should love people because they're people. I feel like humanity is just slowly but surely slipping away. But, you know, I just thank God for the people that are able to really stand for the people that don't have too much of a voice. And the Muslims that were deported or detained at uh, different uh, airports, um, they were spoken up for by the great people that were able to protest and I just thank God for each and every one of them and all of the uh, lawyers that were able to really speak up for these people that were being wronged by the president. You know, this is crazy and all I will do is continue to pray and continue to give my opinion and try my best to show as much love as possible because the president isn't doing it and that's not a representation of the country that I'm a part of. It sucks. Anywho, I hope you'll have a marvelous day. Peace.